Hey guys, today we're talking about Green Book, a movie by Peter Farrelly, who was, who is one of the Farrelly brothers that do raunchy, raunchy, raunchy comedies, like comedies with Jim Carrey, like Dumb and Dumber, and things like that. So it's really weird that he's doing this movie precisely, but yeah, here we are. Green Book is the story of Don Shirley, a really renowned pianist, a black pianist uh, in the 1950s, 60s, that hires Tony Vallelonga, who is portrayed by Viggo Mortensen, to drive him around the deep south of the United States in a tour that he wants to do uh, you know concerts all over the cities and states and whatever and you know it's a very uh, dangerous place for a black man back then so it's a very interesting uh, setup let's just say of course the main draw of this movie are the performances uh, my Herschella Ali is just amazing 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 as Don Shirley he does a really great job he's very poised he's very dignified he has this way with his body that it's really like he limits himself himself sometimes and in other times he's all like flashy so it's it's really interesting I think but it, mostly he's like a private person and that's very uh, interesting especially a black person that was raised differently from all the others and at one point he actually says that he's not quite a black person because he doesn't know that world but he's not a white person because he's black of course he lives a very troubled life very sheltered life very lonely life so that makes his character very interesting uh, Vigo Mortensen again portrays Tony Vallelonga who is an Italian American and he's kind of a racist let's just say it, at, the, at the beginning of this it's very interesting how he evolves as a person and how he understands a little bit more of the world around him and he's a tough guy you know but it's very interesting how Viggo Mortensen just transforms for this movie I saw this with my family and they were like who is that guy in that that portrays that man I was like it's the guy from Lord of the Rings and they were like what that's Viggo Mortensen that's amazing because he's like huge and it's amazing I mean he really did a lot for uh, this uh, performance. The big flaw of this movie is that it doesn't really have any conflict. One would think that setting up a story about a black man in the deep south, a black man that grew up in the north and has all this money and recognition, of course there's going to be a big scene of confrontation and there's going to be a lot of trouble and issues and things and there are but not really as strongly as one would suspect. I mean yes they get in jail uh, at one scene, like physically one scene, and he gets into trouble with some guys in a bar in another scene, but it's very spread around and it, it's not really that big of a deal at the end of the day. The big deal of this movie is the friendship that is built between Don Shirley and Tony Vallelonga. It's nothing else, to be honest. That's the main draw, the main thing, the main theme in the movie, basically, that they make a friendship despite all their differences, which is very nice and very you know, amazing, but one would think that the setting would talk about other issues like, you know, the social uh, things that were happening back then, the prohibition, the prohibition in the sense that they didn't uh, allow people in certain places, and that happens in the movie. It's all portrayed there, it's all there, but it's not really touched uh, that much. I appreciate that the movie doesn't fall into a stereotypes, which is great. It, it, there are no stereotypical black people, I think, maybe in a scene, but mostly it's about this guy that doesn't really belong anywhere and that's very interesting and there are many scenes that really portray that uh, part of him. The thing is that uh, some people say that there are some inaccuracies which is fine in this movie and actually I would have been more interested if they had had some more scenes that were not historically accurate but instead portrayed something of the times. Maybe that didn't happen to him, but some other things, you know, to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more with conflict, I, I, w I would say. I mean, it lacks something uh, at the movie. There's something that's missing, and I think that's it, but maybe it's something else. But again, the performances are great, the costume design, uh, you know, film editing, all of those things are really great. One, the art direction is really good, and it, it's very interesting because I didn't know Green Book is a book that people, uh, black people in the South had to carry around when they travel by car in order to know where pla what places would accept them and what places would not. So that's very interesting to know but it's not really that played into the movie. It's mentioned 
but it's not really a big part of the movie. So uh, that's kind of the trouble I have with the movie, that it could have been a lot more, but it's very funny, it's very well done, the acting is amazing, the directing is really, really good. Peter Farrelly uh, surprised me. It's a great movie. It's a great feel-good movie, let's like just say, about our friendship, not really about racial issues or social issues. So thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you like it. Please comment down below whatever you thought about this movie, like this video, share it on social media, and of course, subscribe to my channel for many more reviews. Thank you so much. Goodbye.